So if it's not practical to build a canal from Canada to Southern California, what about a pipeline? A pipeline doesn't hold nearly as much water as you would think. This is the Trans-Alaskan Pipeline, a 48-inch diameter pipe which moves petroleum products 800 miles across Alaska. A big pipe like this can move a game-changing amount of crude oil from point A to point B. But what would it look like if that size pipe was moving water? The Alaska Pipeline can move 2.1 million barrels of oil per day, 42 gallons per barrel, which comes out to 136 cubic feet per second. So how's a pipe like this compared to some of the existing canals that feed Southern California? The original two LA aqueducts together transport 775 cubic feet per second, five and a half times what the Alaska-sized pipe could do. The Colorado River Aqueduct transports 1,600 cubic feet per second. It would take 17 and a half pipes of this size to bring enough water to replace what Los Angeles is currently bringing in through conventional canals and aqueducts. Combine that with a thousand miles of distance from Canada to Southern California, it's not likely to happen anytime soon.